Hey guys, I'm Brianna. Welcome to my channel. So today is another video of the takedown. As you guys can see, I have my raggedy straggly braids in. It's time for them to come out. I'm going to um, be washing my hair and straightening it um, for an event. Excuse my makeup guys. It's like 10 o'clock. 11 o'clock at night i've been out all day i had my wig on my forehead honey so excuse me if i look or my makeup looks a little out of place but um i just wanted to come to you guys and do another takedown video so um i need i wonder how many months post I am let's see so guys I'm almost three months post relaxer um I have started relaxing my hair again at um four months post so it's almost time for a relaxer but um I'm just going to straighten my hair because I have an event and I have to wear my hair out so I wanted to talk to you guys about a couple of things so if you haven't seen the video that is titled why I don't feel bad about relaxing my hair you should go ahead and watch that in that video I'm talking about a new show that I'm going to be bringing here to my YouTube channel I'm super excited about um it's going to have natural and relaxed ladies on there so it'll be something for everyone um, I wanted it to be very inclusive I wanted it to um, have many different women from different walks of life um, someone people or girls women that everybody can relate to so um, I'm super excited about it guys it's called sisters diary um, if you don't follow me on Instagram follow me at Brianna Roche on Instagram and um, just follow me there I'll be giving updates I'll also be giving updates here on my channel so make sure you're subscribed and you hit that bell button so you can be notified when I'm posting um, that's going to be coming soon I'm not going to necessarily just drop it right away I'm gonna do a couple of like explanation videos a couple of um, like advertising or talking about it because I want you guys to watch it like you guys definitely gave the journey so much love if you remember the journey give this video a thumbs up uh, the journey did amazing you guys loved the journey um, and I know I had so many different women watching the journey so I feel like sister's diary will be even bigger and better and um, it'll be more uh, in a prof more professional setting if that makes sense um, so I'm really excited about that I've been protective styling for about a month I believe um, and I've definitely been enjoying it but as you guys can see my hair is growing like weeds you can't even see my scalp but it is dirty so that's why I want to wash it really good so that um, it can be good for flat ironing because that's what I'm doing next um, I feel like my hair is doing pretty good guys um, I have while it was in the braids I did moisturize and seal my hair um, as much as I could remember to um, you know when I'm protective styling I definitely get a bit lazy because it's just so easy you have these braids in and you know you can do whatever like you're superwoman you can change your hair every day and it's so funny guys because when I change my wigs and I change my wigs every day basically to fit whatever outfit or whatever mood I'm in that's what wig I wear and um, people say oh you look so different um, every time I change my hair and that's like every day so I can literally go to the same place uh, one day go to the next that same place the next day and they don't know who I am um, I don't know how I feel about that I kind of like it because um, it's like they're meeting a new person every time they see me but um, you know sometimes it's like girl we met already and then it's like okay 
I remember now. <laughs> so, um, that's definitely the pros of protective styling and wigs. Um, I absolutely love wigs. And I have some people writing me saying, like, if I don't wear wigs, um, what is, can I still protective style? I'm like, of course. Of course you can. Um, you don't have to wear wigs to protect the style. You can protect the style in braids. The braids can be in your real hair. The braids can be with weave. Um, you know, you can wear buns, ponytails, um, twists. Um, I mean, it's just endless possibilities, guys. And, and we all know um, our hair is so versatile that we can do just about anything. So I definitely would say, you know, I will try to do more protective style videos here on my channel. It's just hard because I, um, you guys know I'm protective styling wigs a lot. But like I said, while my hair is out, I will try to get those videos out for you guys. And if there is any videos that you all would like to see, um, just comment those down below but okay so this is one last thing I wanted to say about sister's diary so I asked you guys if natural women or in relaxed women were in the same room what would you ask them and a lot of people was like going in and I just want to let you guys know this is going to be a space where we're loving on each other nobody's going to be putting each other down nobody's going to be um just bashing one another for having different hair preferences like we're not doing that so um if you don't have like a valid question that i think is very thought provoking and would definitely be good for a topic of conversation then i won't bring it up um so ladies let's try to simmer down and you know just uh be positive uh, I hope you all are excited for the show because I really am. I've spent a lot of time, um, money, um, you know, thinking of ideas for this thing. And I'm just excited for it to come. But I braided my hair a kind of big, bigger than what I usually do. So this is kind of going by fast, which I'm glad because it's late at night. Um, I have to get up in the morning, pack up my car for my trip, and um, I have to get on the road. So, it's like it's already late. I got to wash my hair. I have to um, blow dry it, flat iron it, flat iron it, and I might get up in the morning and do that. Um, I just have so much stuff to do, so little time. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, guys, I'm just going to finish taking out these braids, and I will see you when it's all out. now i am finished taking down these braids and as you can see as always the takedown is always real but um guys usually when before i detangle i just like to um pull at my ends gently to kind of just pull out the shedded hairs so those don't get tangled into anything else um and the more shedded hairs you can get out, the better. Um, so I just go like this. And sometimes when you see a longer piece, you can just go up the shaft. And um, you'll find like where the kinking is. And on this one, 
I definitely found it. Okay, guys, so I detangled my hair. Um, first of all, I just want to say, who told me to get layers? Who told me to do that? Because the front of my hair is taking its slow, precious time growing back, y'all. Like, what in the world? It's just taking its time. It's growing, but, like, literally... I don't know I can't even really show you guys right now but um I may come back and show you guys but I mean it's just taking this slow precious time and I'm really over it I'm ready for my hair to be all one length again and yeah just be flourishing like it once was before I cut it so um I can definitely say my hair is very soft um even when I was detangling it detangling it it felt really strong and I think that is um all due to the Olaplex because I that was like the new thing that I kind of implemented into my um hair journey so I feel like the Olaplex really has been helping my hair um my hair is really soft guys um just even detangling it was like a breeze and it just felt so strong um when i was doing that i just kind of want to show you guys my hair is really moisturized it just looks so good but i just got to get this front to be cooperating guys because i mean even my nape is doing really good um it's really growing let me just see if I could. Yeah, guys. So you guys know my nape is usually like collarbone or whatever. But it's just growing, growing, growing. And I feel like I'm probably about three inches away from waist length. <laughs> Hopefully. So we'll see, guys. But before I go, um, let me tell y'all how my edge is almost uh was taken out so i went to vegas and i had on this lace front and um i was like okay i'm gonna be in vegas for like four days so i want my lace front to be on i don't want to have to take it off i want to be you know slaying in vegas so i went to the store and bought this lace glue mind you guys lace glue is expensive to me like twenty dollars for like a small little bottle and um i don't use glue at all on my hair i don't use like black glue i don't use any type of glue lace glue nothing but i wanted to try it so i went and got some that was like 4.99 and i shouldn't knew right then that was a problem but i went home i tried to apply it on it started turning blue it was just all types of issues and i don't know if i didn't wipe off my forehead area good enough guys but you know those hairs on your forehead that aren't really baby hairs but their hair is like i could feel those being just yanked out and i was like god you know how when you're in a sticky situation you're like god if you can just get me out of this situation like please so i was literally like god please you know rubbing the uh the glue off but as you guys can see my edges are definitely okay um like i said i got makeup um right here so that's why it's a little discolored but um my edges are okay um definitely my little like fine hairs that i had probably got yanked out in that process but my main edges are okay um i did kind of see some breakage up like um around my temples if you guys can see that i don't know what that's about um i'm thinking maybe i'm just kind of like not really paying this area attention when i'm like moisturizing and sealing and stuff i mean because it's literally i don't know i don't know guys um but i'm just gonna keep an eye on it and i can update you guys and tell you how it is but as you guys can see it's it's on both sides well i guess this side is a, it's not as bad but yeah it's not as bad um but see 
if it's not my temples like this is my edges guys like and it's only on my temples um i've only seen that when people have like postpartum shedding i'm not pregnant and i never had a child so that shouldn't be happening for me because as you guys can see like my edges everywhere else are super long it's just on these little freaking temple areas so even down here let me show you guys this so you won't think like my edges are super long um ooh. so yeah guys i don't know i'll definitely update you guys on that situation but yeah other than that this is my hair guys i'm super excited um for the growth super excited to wash it see how it's looking but yeah guys for right now this is it for the takedown and i will see you all in the next video bye Mwah.